this is what I got. I got the three full size products that I need. And I also got the travel size because I'm traveling. So every trip that I go on, I will be bringing my Murad kit, the acne control. The total, guys, without even anything, is 182. That 10% ain't going to do that much for me, but is better than nothing so this is what i got and i don't know i think that this is a good idea like if you're traveling you like the mirad products the travel size kit is only like 36 dollars, and you know you can still do your regular routine but travel size for them so you can't you know you just be doing your skincare all the time so i thought that that was really dope All right, guys, so I did go ahead and take a lot of the stuff down, a lot of the pictures and uh, the computers, the two desktops are right there and stuff like that. So I pretty much got everything off the walls, but I still need boxes. So I'm going through the office, going through all the clothes that I don't need. I'm going to throw a lot of stuff outside today. But for the most part, I got a lot of this major stuff, well, the stuff that was hanging down. So I just have to throw like look through the clothes that I have and see what I need and what I don't need but I have all the plants all the artificial plants portraits and stuff here and I'm still working on the office um, trying to go through the clothes that I'm gonna sell the clothes I need to toss and the clothes I need to keep so I'm working I'm working so the walls bare everything is like pretty much off the walls at this point so so sad and the office is coming down as well. hi guys welcome back so it's tuesday you guys can already see the back right here i took stuff down bro a lot of stuff is already down wanted to say happy tuesday happy 420 i'm gonna say that for all y'all out there um but i have a unit on guys it's a unit i've been meaning to show you guys um for maybe like three weeks now so i finally decided to put her down or install her it's a synthetic lace front wig a braided one guys so it's not really that much you can do i did go ahead and add some gems to her and stuff like that to make her look um you know more presentable for me this is a really nice uh, summer wig when i don't really can't really be bothered with putting a wig down this is a very nice color mix as well too guys and let me show you guys the color mix the color mix is this hopefully that's right there so there it goes this is the style it's from Altre. it's a nice unit guys it's a four by four lace front wig as it says right there so it comes with everything you pretty much need and i know you guys probably love my nails i love them too from primark for three dollars um but this is a nice unit guys um i just did an instagram reel and um yeah just ladies and gentlemen her <laughs> To the Instagram reel today. I don't think I'm gonna take a picture yet. I'm gonna take a picture probably. Maybe I'll take a picture today. With the, yeah, maybe. Maybe not because I have a video to edit, but the video I'm editing is not long, so it's probably gonna take me two hours to edit. So I'm gonna do that. It is 70 degrees outside, wonderful weather in New York City today. So it's around two o'clock now. I'll probably step out around 4 30. So that's my goal. Um, like I said, the edit is not long. It's an informative video this month. I mean, this week, so you guys will like the vlog, and yeah, so. 
yeah hopefully you guys like this look and y'all know how them little wispy baby hairs is kind of the trend i figured why like try to make them like proper i think i'm actually going to trim these a little bit i know that sounds weird to do but you can i actually cut i trimmed like one of the ones in the front that was a little bit longer so i'm going to trim bangs into here like i'm going to cut this one like up to here i want it shorter so that it falls correctly it looks really good but you know the eyelashes really be hitting the little braid be hitting the eyelashes but all in all guys very very pretty like they did a good job on this unit like wow like really really well so hopefully you guys like it let me know what you guys think and make sure you go ahead and watch that go ahead and make some turkey burgers with some um, seasoning i used the kicking chicken seasoning from that gourmet seasoning from tj maxx i also used some black pepper and some salt and I also did put some chopped up onions in it just so it can have that nice kind of taste. I like to grill my burgers like that. They're all uneven sizes, but I mean, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, put the chicken seasoning on. I think I'm going to do barbecue chicken instead of jerk. But I might do jerk barbecue. That might be good. But then it might give me heartburn. So I might just do... Um, spicy food is really killing me, by the way, guys. But I might just do barbecue chicken quarters. And then we're having some corn. This is about to go down. Alright guys, so because the grill's taking a little bit longer to heat up, he just did the burgers on the grill. So I'm going to go ahead and boil the corn instead because this will take extra long, so I'm not even going to wait on that. I'm going to boil it, butter it, and then just put it in the oven so it can get a little crispy. Um, we're just doing burgers, this and the chicken. Hopefully the chicken, hopefully the grill works, but it doesn't. I'm going to pop the chicken in the oven and let it get roasted in the oven. And we're just going to do corn, chicken, and burger. So it's pretty low carb, I guess, because it's just a bun. But you still get your protein, so. I hear I am. Do you give it PO? No. Why? Because it's not absorbed. Not absorbed. But if you give it PO, what will it do? Sterilize, Sterilize the gut. Um, what two situations do you want bowel sterilization? Hepatic and no cephalopathy and before surgery. Pre bowel. Who can sterilize your bowel? Neo can. Neomycin and clindamycin. All right. So do you know those drugs? Yes. Yeah. Get it from mean old mice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can know the whole shoot match. There isn't a question they would ask you about these drugs that that does not cover. That covers it all. Okay. Excellent. Um, I had a nurse from, I was touring Miami Valley Hospital about four or five years ago and a nurse comes up to me in the hallway and says, who can sterilize my bowel? <laughs> and then I said, excuse me. <laughs> and she says, who can sterilize my bowel? And I said, I thought, <laughs> and she says, answer the question. And so I said, Neo can? <laughs> and she said, yeah, I had your, ten I had your class. When did you draw the peak? Good news. You don't even have to know what the drug is. Because it depends on the route, which is great. This would be a fantastic question to get a drug you never heard of, because it doesn't matter. The route matters. So if they say, when would you draw the peak on a patient getting l asparaginase IV push? What does not matter at all? The drug. l asparaginase what matters? IV push. IV push. Okay, so let's talk about this. Troughs, we'll fill in the trough column first. When do you draw a sublingual trough? A trough before, when do you draw the trough before you give a sublingual med? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30, that's three zero, I'm not saying 13. 30, three zero. 30 minutes before the next dose. 
So if the med is being given at 10, sublingually, when do you draw your trough? 9.30. 9.30. 30. 30 minutes before that next dose. Let's talk about IV. We're going down the column. When do you draw a trough before an IV med? 30 minutes before the next dose. 30 minutes before the next dose. I am when you... morning guys so it is Thursday and I woke up to 25% uh, um, on my tire um, the dealership did tell me how to uh, nail on that tire but I guess after driving to DC and all that kind of stuff I really took a beating on my baby <laughs> so I'm riding around the corner from my house there's like a little um, tire patch up place so I'm gonna have the guy do it. it's like $15 that's the perks of living in New York City bro there's something literally around every corner. There's a corner store everywhere. There's like just about everything. So it's a blessing that all I gotta do is hit the corner with my little 25% and go ahead and get this tire fixed. And the guy here is really nice. He'll probably remember me. Um, yeah, so. Bro, what are you doing? See, it's that type of driving. Like, real aggressive, bro. Alright guys, I'm about to, he don't, and this guy don't even know, see, and this is why people's car, and by the way, I didn't tell you guys, I got garage parking at my place, I was waiting for a spot, but lucky me, and the spot opened up, so your baby got garage parking, Yeah, this is about to take a minute, wow, there's three cars here, so let me go and talk to the fella, and let him know I need a new tire, my tire fix. All right, guys, so I'm at the patty place right now. I made it safely. So I do have to get a new tire. It's just, that's just what it is. So once I get to Connecticut, um, I'm gonna go to Target to return something. Sorry, guys. And then after I go to Target to return it, I'm gonna go get a new tire, and then I'm gonna go do some decoring. Cause I wanted to do decor shopping, but damn, that just slapped me with a $270, $270 money today, paying for a new tire, cause I know the tire, if I go to this place, I can get the tire for maybe $220. Um, it's a big, my car is a big car, so the tires are a lot, like, bro. The dealership was talking about $270, but you know how the dealership always hikes up the price. No ma'am, I'm not going back there, mm-mm. So I'm gonna go see if this place I know, it's, it's accredited, it's good, it's clean, they gave you fresh tires. I wanna see if I can get a nice Michelin tire to match my tire, and hopefully that works out. It's 11.09 now, I'll probably get, I'm gonna have to drive slow because I get nervous, because he was like, you know, try not to like run into the sidewalk with that tire because uh, the the nail was directly on the outside of the tire, and you guys know that's not good, you gotta replace it. Um, I wish, not saying I don't, I don't want no holes in my tire, but I wish it was in the grids, because like the inner tire, because that's easier to patch up with no issues. Um, I have my other tire on my right hand side, if you guys remember last week, um, I had to get that one patched up, so. Let me get inside real quick. Ooh. I think I'm making me some passion fruit juice too, by the way. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna go in right now, grab the patties, get in the car and proceed to get to um, Connecticut. Go to Target first. After Target, I'm gonna go um, get the tire, which should take me about like an hour. Hopefully there's nobody there. 
and then I'm gonna go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. So I'm gonna attempt to buy some stuff. I already know. I just need uh, two things for the bathrooms, like a nice little kind of bathroom set, and the laundry baskets. I also want to get a new garbage for our, um, our kitchen. So I'll probably get like four items. Like that, I can't believe that the tire cut into my pocket today. I know you guys like chill, but like you know what I mean. Like come on, tire. That's like, I was planning on spending to maybe like a $500 minimum for myself today. Like, just, but this is stuff for like home. I don't really shop like that. Y'all know that. I go to Walmart and buy maybe like a pair of sandals, which I'm going back today. But I don't get crazy like that. I Like, um, I was taking some of your guys' recommendations. You guys are like, when I'm moving this time, take my time. So I'm going to definitely take my time decorating like the, we have like a little kitchenette area, like a, like an eating area. And I'm going to take my time doing the living room. My office obviously has to get done first because I got to go to work. I mean, I got to work from home and the bedroom and the bathroom will be done first. So everything else, like the living room, the kitchen and all that kind of stuff, there won't be no bar up yet. None of that stuff will get done. I'm going to take each step. I know what I want for the living room, so I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to just take my time to do that. So thank you guys for the recommendations in the live the other day. I'm going to take my time going through each section, but I'm going to start off with the bathroom and the bedroom first. So I can load up a bunch of those like things in my car. We'll go to we'll go to home goods today. You guys will see what I pick out. If I can find some wall decor, I'll do that as well too. And yeah, so all the, I'm just giving you guys a heads up now. A lot of the pots and pans that I have, I have some cast irons in my um, storage, which I'm taking with me because I love them and I miss cooking in them. But as far as the like flat plateware that you guys see me get, the ones that I like, the non-stick ones from TJ Maxx, I decided that it's like I overdo things. I like to get a lot of things. So I decided just to buy three new ones and toss the ones I have out. I'm definitely keeping my Dutchie because, I mean, like, I'm Haitian. Like, I gotta have a shoje, you know, a good, you know, sturdy Dutchie shoje. So I'm gonna keep that. But as far as everything else miracle marijuana certification what new york city since they legalized um marijuana out here i noticed that they've been you know, putting their little business and stuff out that's crazy anyways um yeah so i gotta do that so i don't even know what i was just saying that caught me off guard when i saw that i didn't even realize that that was there anyways let me i just talked a whole bunch let me go get these patties and I'll be right show back. this to you guys all the time because I just I need y'all in your area to find a Haitian place that sells patties. These have to be the best patties like that I've tasted out here. I used to go to um, La La Bonpe, but La Bonpe their patties be too thick. These are nice and perfectly crusted. Look at how ashy my hand is. And I also got that sourdough bread. My mom loves this bread. Like look at y'all see that. Okay, now, so I just wanted to show it to you guys for the ones that have never had a, a Haitian patty These are the herring ones. I don't eat the beef. I don't eat the chicken. I don't eat the fish ones I either eat the herring one or the moe one, which is the moe one is called codfish No, no codfish or herring bra Like let me let me just can we get into those flakes Wow This is so my style, $30. She's saying don't get it. Furniture ones. Look at this is here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some nice stuff in here, guys. And it's only 40 bucks. This will go so nice in my apartment.
Because HomeGoods didn't really have that much furniture, furniture that I would like. I need like um, a, end a table. I need like a lot of stuff for the living room, but I was just trying to see if they had it at home because usually they do. But the portraits, I do really like. My sister's telling me that I can't put that in the living room because my boy, that doesn't matter. It's aesthetic, it's a theme. Once I put everything together, you guys will see how it looks. I really like that portrait. Um, I just need to find a table to go underneath it and put like candles and stuff on it to kind of go with the whole theme. Like I said, I was doing more of a farmhouse, rustic, kind of boho chic type of look. So, um, you guys will see how that turns out. I really think it's gonna be so cute. So I can't wait to kind of get all the ideas together and put down. Um, the picture of the um, darker skin girl, um, that's gonna go in my office. I have, I wanna do like a whole little theme for the office, like certain sections where I film at. So I wanted to put that with the two other pictures in that area, so hopefully that works out. Um, I'm at Home Depot right now, guys. So I'm about to get some boxes and some tape because we gotta start packing this weekend, so. I need to get 10 large, 10 medium, and then tape. So I'm sure my mom's gonna come in because I'm gonna bring the patties to her, but I just got the tire. Now, I could've got it at my dealership, but my dealership would've charged me like 270, almost 290 with taxes. So he gave me a little bit of a discount. I think I always be saying stuff like that. So it went from, it was listed at 276 for the tire, and then I got it for 210, so that was nice. And then the service fees, obviously, for the balancing and stuff. So it was 253. It was a little bit less than what I thought I was gonna spend. I knew the tire was gonna be like 200-ish. So at least I was right on point with that. So uh, Five Below is right around the corner, and there's also, is there other store there? Five Below and Old Navy. So I'm just gonna stop by Old Navy. I haven't been to Old Navy in a long time, and I'm gonna go to Five Below just to look at some, you know, just take a gander. I might want, oh, I do wanna get something at Five Below. So I'm just gonna leave the car here. I'm gonna put this on top of the car, and then I don't think I have anything in here that's embarrassing or anything like that, so so be it. So I'm about to head out right now. He says it's gonna take me like, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So I'll just go hang out for a minute and then come back. So. All right, guys, so it's 5.07, I'm back in the car. I'm just gonna spend like maybe like an hour with Dan. So I'll be out of the house by like 5.45-ish. I did get my Murad stuff like I told you guys before. So I got the Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. Everything, hopefully everything focuses, I got that one. I also got this one which is sold out online. It's sold out basically everywhere and this product to me is so good. So this is the Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. Um, this one really helps me with my dark marks. I'm really excited to open this up. I'm actually not going to open these up. I'm going to use a travel size one because I'm moving soon. But um, the travel size one also has um, corrector as well too. I did get the Oil and Pore Control Mattifying Broad Spectrum SPF 45. I have oily skin so this one even if I don't wear makeup and if I wear makeup it does a great job by mattifying me the hell on up. So I recommend this as well. I guess I had the um, sale going so your girl got everything for the deal. So like I said, because I'm traveling basically every month, um, I got the Murad Acne Control 30 Day Trial Kit. Um, this one works for me. The actual Murad product, the cleanser, leaves um, the like the chemicals in your skin so it helps fight the acne like during the night, during the day, all the time. I do this morning and night, guys. So I got the... Um, 30 day trial kit because I'm traveling it just makes more sense to take this with you while you're traveling so I got this one and I got the full size ones for my daily routine so yeah so and like I said this one has their spot treatment which no not the spot treatment 
the minimizing the look of post acne scars so that's the one I use you can use this one I prefer the other one with the vitamin C the orange one because that one just it works. Friday guys so I already did a few things it's 12 55 right now so um, I did go get a check a certified check from the bank and I'm going to sign the lease right now I'm not bringing the camera in it's not like I'm buying a house guys like we don't gotta get all dramatic so um i'm pretty sure they probably already spotted me sitting in the car by the way i'm faced and it took me a little bit of time to park this car for some reason the parking is just so tight over here hopefully i get out without smashing this car in the back but the car sensors are so good that it'll warn you before you make that mistake so i'm about to go in right now and then i'm going to go to ikea to just take a gander of a few things that i want i need to figure out if i'm getting a desk right from ikea or if i'm just buying from somewhere else and then i'm going to go to target and then i'm taking my black butt home so I do want to get a smoothie or something oh god he's all in his nose lord and I do have my Dominique Bob I gotta come in the light so you guys can see her she's burgundy so pretty and the boxes yep they still in the back um, when I get back to the house my boyfriend gonna come out and um, get them so let's go in real quick and sign this thing So I know I want two wicker chairs. This one, oh, that's more outdoorsy. But this one is really cute. And this is how it looks right here with the cushion. I love this right here, very modern. I'm looking for a desk like this, so. It's nice. Even this is really nice. And then the collapsible, so I'm gonna have to get some of these. These are cute. To pop it open. So it is Monday, happy Monday. Today the vlog for the, today's vlog will be up from uh, DC. It's a short vlog, and anything crazy. We were just hanging out, having a good time. How good as it is, guys? Cute stuff. Yeah. Yeah, really nice stuff in here. Like this is like those notes for the living. I thought this was really cute. I was looking for something like this, and it's not too tall. Look at this one right here for one ninety nine. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Look at that beautiful little cart. 
Which Which black one? This one right here. With the double round. Oh, this is double. Um, I just need one for like my stuff from my bathroom, like my um, pads and tampons and stuff. That's why I wanted to get that one. This one's nice. Clearly not. Okay. What about these? Laundry, but I, I was gonna order one from Amazon. Not Amazon. No, it makes the house look way better. It does. It just you could put like um, books in it, like little artifacts in it. So, so this one is really nice. This is the one I always use at my house. I found two more, so I'm gonna get two more because our apartment's bigger, so we need more decor. So I'm gonna grab this one. This is so fucking pretty. Like $129.99, good price. This is really, really nice. And look at that quilting material on it. Like, look, bit. what? And they only have two left. All right, I'm gonna have to get this. So I got this one. Hey, dog. Guys, so I'm home. So this is what I got at uh, where I go Target. I got these uh, color skin band-aids. I got two avocados. I got some kid toothbrushes so I could do my baby hair. They're smaller. I won't lose them because I use electric brush, so those are easier to recognize. I did get a bag of the shredded green leaf lettuce. Um, I did go to Rainbow Shop, but you know what? Let me just give you a sneak peek of what they got. Um, because I'm going to do a haul, so I'm collecting a few things. These sandals, my sisters hated these, but I thought these were cute, fun jellies. Like, they're like jellies with sparkles. Like, why not? Like, bitch, bye. And they also have these really cute freaking pants. Like, and I got some tops. I got, guys, and I also found these right here. So, I'm going to do the haul. I'm not going to show you guys everything that I got. I did go into the store today. I forgot to film because I was on the phone talking to my sisters, but... I will show you guys in a haul. I got some vacation pieces. I'm going away next month, and I'm going I'm going away May and June and July. So it's gonna be so exciting. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So I have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna make one more stop at Rainbow Shops, and then I'm gonna complete the haul for you guys. So the haul should be up soon. So I'm super excited. All right, guys. So I'm back home. I've been back home for like an hour. I ate some food. Um, now I am actually doing lecture this one is like an hour and 36 minutes and i'm gonna do another one which is an hour and 11 minutes um i was gonna put the vlog up today but you guys kind of have to understand right now especially because i'm transitioning to moving to another place and i'm trying to pass my boards like i'm not trying to put this on back burner burner but the dates and the times when i post will be a little bit different it's always going to be 8 30 p.m i might switch it to 7 30 p just because some people would think it's a little late at 8 30 but <clears throat> My main focus right now is to pass the boards and to move. So I'll show you guys the vlogs. The vlogs might come a day after when they're scheduled to be up, but I'll try to give you guys three videos a week. They will. The vlog will be up tomorrow. The hair video will be up on Wednesday, and then I have a try and all possibly, and then I have the week and the weekly vlog from last week, which is actually really good. I did some shopping, some decor shopping, so that's really fun. You guys will get to see that. Um, today, obviously, I did go and buy some stuff, so it's gonna be a buying couple weeks coming up. Um, yeah, so I'm doing my lecture. We're doing crutches, canes, and walkers right now. Um, tricky questions. I hate when they do these types of questions. I always get wrong, so um, it's nice to go through it. Then we're going to start delusions, hallucinations, and illusions. Psych. And I love psych, so here we go, guys. So I'm going to do all together about three hours of studying, uh, three hours of lecture. I'm going to try to do this every single day. My test is in June, so... Let God be with me, as he always is. So, let me get to work, guys. I'll catch you guys in a few. Probably, it's, it's, it's pretty late. I'll catch you guys in a few hours. 
few hours. All right, so today's already starting weird. The camera ended up dying on me, <laughs> but I'm at the grocery store right now. I, I look so dry, guys. Whatever, my hair laid to the gizzards. So I'm about to head into the grocery store right now. I'm gonna just show you guys a few things I pick up, and then we're gonna go to head. To, we're gonna head to Rainbow. Um, bandana pants that I got. I should have got them in an XL. If you guys know Rainbow, especially when you thick on the bottom, like usually I wear like a size medium, like a regular wear. But like for pants from them, like especially kind of like the like. The, like kind of satiny gacho type pants for some reason when it comes to my thighs it's always tight right at the mid part of my thigh so i'm just gonna see if they got an xl at this store i don't really think a lot of people shop at this store because i always get the good stuff so i'm gonna pick out maybe like three more items on top of the exchange and that's gonna complete the haul so i'm thinking since i didn't get a package yet i'm gonna put this rainbow shops haul up this week so um i'm gonna work on it probably today the filming part like the tron haul portion do the talk part and put the video up on Friday. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put the, the try and halt this week because I didn't get a package from a brand. So I'm not waiting for people. I gotta keep working. I have four sponsored, like, you know, sponsored uh, try and halts coming up. But my package is taking too long. So those sponsored ones will have to wait. And it's nice to have a lot of work. So I'm, I'm blessed, I'm happy. But I'ma just wait for those four sponsorship uh, items to come in. So for now, I'll do the Rainbow Shops one for you guys this week, so. done editing the video the video is already up that thumbnail and everything's done so um right now i'm gonna just pack a few things because we're still you know look at the back i'm gonna take this down today and put some of my clothes away in the boxes i'm gonna try to do two full boxes today so um it was a pretty productive day today um i have to return one thing i got from rainbow that little black two-piece and it fit quite the way i wanted to so i'm gonna go to the one before i go to connecticut tomorrow because that's a brand new store so i'm gonna hop in there first tomorrow check them out a little bit and return that and get something else or two items um but they got some nice stuff i can't wait for you guys to see the haul um this unit that i'm wearing i have it wrapped right now because i'm gonna finish review tomorrow but i love it um yeah, and then we're gonna make the shrimp po' boys later. All right, guys, so I did tell you guys I was gonna go ahead and make shrimp po' boys. So I de decided to use the tempura mix because I had a HelloFresh mix before, and the tempura, they used, they made it was like a shrimp tempura for HelloFresh, and the flavor kind of tastes like that crispy flavor like a po' boy. So I have some fresh shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. It's gonna take a few minutes to make it. I have like a nice French baguette. I got some dill pickle slices, chips. Um, mayo and lettuce in the fridge the lettuce that I got the other day oh well, yesterday wow I'm acting like I feel like today's like Wednesday but tomorrow's Wednesday and tomorrow's 80 degrees outside but um, I'm gonna start the batter and stuff and then I'm gonna start frying the shrimp guys so here is the batter once I've mixed it up I didn't put too much water in it because I want it to be a little bit you know like pancake batter style um, this is a shrimp right here I have some nice fresh shrimp so when you do it with when you actually put this in a batter the shrimp stays this size which I like I might actually butterfly these so I'm gonna butterfly them because I think that'll be better so that I can save some for tomorrow <laughs> Um, the baguette is big, but I cut the ends off, but for the sake of the video, I won't cut the ends off because I'm trying to make it New Orleans style. I did go ahead and add some extra red pepper in this.
this because what I had ran out so after I cut the clip I went and added some extra so it is a little bit on the red side um, but trust me the shrimp tempura mix for some reason is kind of close to that New Orleans style if I'm mistaken whatever we could just do it kind of like a a mixed Asian fusion style pull boy I guess I don't know whatever um, but yeah I'm gonna butterfly this I think that would be a little bit better when I fry them up ooh so I can't wait Alright guys, so this is the shrimp. I got like triple fried it because I wanted it to be crispy. I actually had one. It actually tastes really, really good. Um, I butterfly them, but y'all see they kind of curled right on up. But they look really nice and coated. The tempura mix, it's really good guys. Like, I understand you can use just regular flour, but for some reason this one just has a crunch and just everything about it. So, this is what it looks like and I did all the shrimp. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and toast the bread and dress it. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. So it is a beautiful day out. I got the sunroof open because right now it's currently, why did I say 65? Oh, because I had the air, air on. And well, outside, no, I could have swore. Wow, I guess New York City 79 degrees and Connecticut is only 65. That's kind of weird. But um, it's a nice day today. I f you know, it's, it is a little cloudy. I didn't even realize that until I got here. So New York City 79 degrees, but Connecticut 65. Oh man, I wanted to take a picture. I did not even realize that until I just looked up. Like, it's like not as sunny. So, um, I'm here. I'm about to go see my mom real quick. Um, happy hump day. Happy Wednesday. I'm trying to check the weather. Yeah, New York is 77. Tomorrow is 72, but it's going to rain. 60% chance of rain tomorrow. I could do a, a few pictures tomorrow too. So, hey guys. Um, yeah. So, I'm about to go see my mom real quick. And that's gonna be that. My face got really oily. Me and Dan are going out to dinner tonight to our favorite Greek restaurant. Um, I didn't show it to you guys before. And my hands, okay, not actually this time. I didn't show it to you guys before. I was, it was before I started vlogging, vlogging like every week. So you guys will see this really nice Greek restaurant in Stanford, Connecticut. It's so good. So yeah. I'm about to see my Say hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Dominique, mom. Yo, Konesa. <laughs> She's sexy such a clown. Dominique. Sexy Dominique. Yeah, She's a clown. <laughs> Look at this guy right here. <laughs> uh, uh, like, you feel me, then? I'm not about to have these types of conversations, okay? <laughs> I'm putting you in neutral right now. Thank you, buddy. Let uh, me tell you 
I always have the hardest time in those things. Me too, Shug. And the guy be like a low key catching an attitude, and I be like, <laughs> it's, I'm like, yo, if you don't calm down, like, he be low key catching an attitude. No. Yes. Yes. Well, I don't like, like all this rattling. The fuck <laughs> down, like, it's just not that big of a deal. Look, I don't like all this rattling. Yeah, like, he was getting, like, one day, he, like, he made me completely stop my car in the middle of it. And then, like, oh, he was like, what the fuck was like, what the fuck was like, what the fuck was like, what the How does that feel? Does that feel better? That feels better. Yeah. Okay, so what I have to do on this here, I'll show you. So it's it's it so what you have to put you have to put the it's sort of a called a dart. You have okay. to put one on one side and one on the other side. It's not gonna show, it's just gonna show like a, a, a pleat okay. line. Okay. Okay. Okay, now try I'll try one of the, the short time. Yeah. You know, right right about there, yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. Got it. So you're all set. Let's okay. bring these two up. Okay. How long will this take? A um, couple days, if that's all right. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to get to 28. So today is um, Wednesday, so we'll have a Friday. Maybe like after 12. Okay. 26. All right, guys. So my third stop right now after getting my pants tailored. He told me I could pick him up on Friday, so I'm really happy about that. Um, finally got it done. It only took a few minutes. I don't know what was taking me so long to get it done. I thought it was going to be a long process, but literally everyone's back to business just with mask on, which I really like. And a lot of people are getting vaccinated, too. He's, a, he's an elderly guy, so he's vaccinated. I'm hoping. Probably. Most likely. Um... Yeah, so right now I'm going to head to this tattoo place right here to make an appointment because I'm getting a tattoo, like I told you guys. So I want to see, I got recommended by Cindy. You guys remember Cindy, uh, our Spanish girl, our Spanish friend. <laughs> um, she has a whole sleeve on her arm, so she told me to come here. So I'm going to go in here and see if they can give me what I want and whatever so I can make an appointment for next week. So I'm getting a tattoo next week. I've been told y'all that, so don't try to ask Me and my date are finally here together. Say hello. Hey, We're in yeah. Stanford, guys. Do you guys see that freaking octopus? It is the most delicious thing with all those cilantro onions. It's amazing. Bags oh at my God. They're too stiff. It's really stiff though. You put one little phone in there and that's about it. Oh, it's kind of cute. Yeah. This is cute too. This is a yellow one. It matches my outfit. Look at this. Oh, it's cute. I like that. Matches my bag. Probably like $40. All right, guys, here's my outfit from today. Not Why are they not practical? I don't know what really do. And this little table right here. This table's really cute. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. This is not practical. Oh, these are so nice. I like this. Oh, and they're comfortable, too. 
I like this. Isn't it comfortable? Yeah. Comfortable. Is it like brown? It's like, oh no, it's a it's a cover on it. Oh, they put cushions on it. The wicker is cute, but I like the brown. Yeah. I do have a video that I need to edit right now because the video has to go up tonight. It's gonna go up at 8.30. It's only gonna take me about, what time is it now? 6.17. It'll take me about till 7.30 to edit and have it up. It's just a simple hair video. Um, I did post a picture on Instagram yesterday, so you guys saw it. That hair, I'm posting the video up today because I absolutely love that unit. So hopefully I can get the thumbnails and everything up, um, but that video will definitely be up today. I did go ahead and install this one from Beauty Forever Hair. Um, just uh, well I did it today and honestly and truly the reason why I could do a quick install with this company is because the units are always pretty much good from this company to be honest with you I've never had any bad units from Beauty Forever hair and like literally this unit curls so nicely and I didn't even show you guys what I got today so I did get the hot tools curler um, I got the one and a quarter um, one and a quarter inch uh, curler. Now, I went to Ulta, and at Ulta, this was on sale. All their curling irons were 30% off. And then on top of that, I had some rewards. I had $6 rewards, so I got this for $31. I'm going to put this out there. Hot Tools, I love my other one from Duvoli, but Hot Tools has the best curling irons ever guys like they have the best curling irons and it's nice gold ceramic it's just like when i tell you guys curls if you're looking for a pop in curls you got to go to the classic hot tools the gold one or whatever my sister had the titanium one and i tried it when i was away with her i did some curls in my wig and i was like Bitch, i gotta get this i also did get some uh wonder lace bond i got the yellow one this time you guys know this look at you hear all that noise in the background last weekend at this house period um, you know what I'm gonna do? I also want to mention this. The vlog that I'm gonna put up this week is gonna be from last week and this week combined together. So you guys are gonna see a whole like hour long vlog because I just figured like I need to just start over again because I'm way behind. So I'm gonna make the weekly vlog this week a long two week vlog. So right, guys, so the camera coming off. I don't even know where I ended up, but let me just quickly show you guys. So what I got from the beauty supply store were the earrings. I wanted to switch these out. Well, my studs out now and just put my little hoops in. I love doing the hoops every now and then. Sorry if my nails look a little bit jaggy right now, but here are the new ones that I got. I love the hoops, so I got four packs. I have three holes on this side, and I have four holes on this side. Well, four holes down here, five on this side. So I'm just going to do uh, four like baby hoops and three baby hoops on this side. And I also have that really cute little half heart uh, drop that I might put in my ear as well, too, that I do. So sometimes I go between wearing the hoops, and sometimes I do. I've been doing a lot of this lately because I, really I mentioned before the video was cut off, I am going to actually make this vlog like an hour long or I'll, however the long the clip goes, that's how it's going to go up. And it'll be up on Saturday, so it's the weekend. You guys, we all get to watch it together and have fun. Um, I have, I'm back to fun vlogs, so I decided to not vlog last weekend and to just take last week's vlog and combine it with this week's vlog to give you guys more of kind of like a... Uh, like a recall from last week because I've just been so busy. I've been studying for my NCLEX. I've been um, doing apartment shopping, which you guys will see in the vlog. You guys are gonna fucking love it. I shopped like a lot already, so and just getting the stuff ready for the move. If I did not mention already, if I did mention the vlog, I ended up getting garage parking, which is awesome. So at least I got garage parking now. So I'm pretty much set with this apartment. Love it. Just gotta get this stuff out the apartment, which I will show you guys what else we had. We did. I'm pretty sure tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday is just gonna be a cleanup day for us, but. I'm I'm definitely going to edit uh, this vlog tomorrow um, so that it's up for Saturday so everyone's off on Saturday hopefully even if you're not hopefully you can come in on Saturday it's gonna be like maybe like an hour long two hour long vlog I don't even know but hope you're here for the ride hope you're gonna watch and I got a lot of work to do because I got a Tron haul to film I did I'm done with the hair videos but I'm talking all this I got a video to edit bye